welcome to Angel's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name is Andy. Today I'm joined by Drew and Allison. And we're hanging out in Armadillo, and Drew's being kind of a dork. Yes, yeah, an extra dork because we've got a chick in the house. And we're talking about action figures. Action figures. Good ones, bad ones, stupid ones. Let's go check out this door. What do you got? Well, we got uh, the rarity here. We have the rare. Princess Leia, Star Wars action figure. That's your first run. Mm -hmm. And this is the one where you can tell it's a first run because it says right on her left leg, uh, 1977. You look for any excuse to check out her butt. And uh, you know what? It's the same age as this girl right over here. This is, well, y'all recognize that one. And you know what? She's, <laughs> she's better than an action figure because she's the real thing. I'm full size. No. She's full size. And but, she's a lot more articulate too. She can like move her arms. Do, do you do you have the date on your back leg? You have to look. Oh yeah, you do. That's right. I forgot. Moving on, what else have we got? Uh, well, let me see. We got all these little action figures right here. As you we can got, see, yes, I actually I've been cleaning these out. These are going to we be. We got the uh, the the X-wing pilot right there. This is Lando great. Calrissian, Han Solo. Calrissian? Did you say Cal Calrissian? You yeah, I said Calrissian. That's what his name is. Cal Calrissian. Calrissian. Thank for you. The folks at home. For the rest of us in the planet, it's Calrissian. The, those in the Trekkie world, it's Calrissian. Why did you get Oh, we're busting your balls. I know, I know. It's because this is actually an original from the uh, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, it's I, I got them all. They all look nice and shiny because I've been cleaning them because you know, we're going to put them on display. Uh, the Imperial Officer. Bounty Hunters. We don't need a scum. scum. Yes, he's alright. You can tell, definitely tell he's original. Yeah. First one, the, the little bot triplets here. Yeah, he's got tons of those. He's a pretty cool guy. I met him before. What else we got here other than Star Wars? Well, Star Trekkie here. If you look, if you look up here to the to the to your left, <laughs> we have uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> Followed by Pumpkinhead. A <laughs> Blair Witch. <laughs> The Todd McFarlane series. Yep, Mark McFarlane series right up there. Uh, we've got uh, Hellraiser right next to that. That's and a real Toys, so it's not a McFarlane. Yeah, uh, right below him is uh, Freddy Krueger. Second run Freddy Krueger. Uh -huh. McFarlane. Uh, this is the Tooth Fairy from. So, what do you think, Allison? What's oh, your favorite? Um. I can talk to you because you're not a Trekkie. Yeah, but I'm also not very articulate, so... I wouldn't say that. She's eye candy. Just smile. <laughs> Just smile. Okay? Smile for the camera. Oh, geez. Say hi to the folks at home. It's very close to my face. No, it's not. This is a wide-angle lens. See? Oh. Hello. I'm not make you look bad. <laughs> no. I have Vlad, and we have Elizabeth Bathory, and yes, all of I remember. Those guys. I got you that Elizabeth Bathory. I yes. got, I brought that all the way from the shower shores of California. Mm -hmm. I found it this really cool, like high-end uh, co comic book action figure store. I think it was like, oh, that's a Golden Apple, something, something like that. But is she with or without nipple? There's Elizabeth Bathory with nipple, and without nipple. I don't remember which one it is. We have her without. That's that's when I got you. I don't know. We have two. The other one's in storage. I I. Not an exciting story. When well, actually, it is quite exciting action. <laughs> First of all, is our, our target audience is all about toys and nipples. Mm. Speaking of which, Makes this sense. is the something you can appreciate, Allison. This is the Todd McFarlane Twisted uh, Fairy Tale series. I love yes. it. That's awesome. The detailing on this. Like, that's that's obviously Little Red Riding Hood. Hansel and Gretel. His, his Hansel, Peter, Peter, Pumpkin Eater. That's his wife. He couldn't keep her. Oh, that's gross. And Humpty Dumpty, of course. <laughs> this is nasty when you get when you get them up in close in camera. Like you really just how disgusting these things actually are. <coughs> and I've been friends with this man since 1993. <laughs> Moving on. Oh. Yep, we got dun, watch dun, 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 dun. Oh, Wonder Woman. He always mm -hmm. says he's on Wonder Woman. That's cool. She's like the coolest thing in the world, so shut up. Uh, okay. He always goes after me about Star Trek, but then he goes after Wonder Woman. He's got this upset. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I like Wonder Woman. I love Linda Carter as Wonder Woman. Best show ever. But uh, right, This is where I'm stopping, because you're, yeah. you're being an idiot. Enterprise, you bitch. Look at that. 
pretty awesome. This is from the, the newest line. This is series two of the Cinema of Fear. I, I would love to have this one set up because it's. I bet you, I bet you it kicks ass. What do you think? Kicks ass. Yeah, Definitely. You're just supposed to smile. <laughs> That's all you're here for. You get, it's like, you know, a chick in a comic book store is like hubcaps on a tractor. <laughs> They're there for decoration. <laughs> Spinning you, rims Allison. on a trap. I love you, Allison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moving on. I never really asked you this. Are you uh, DC or Marvel? See, I'm not knowledgeable enough to be able to tell you the answer to that. Oh, well, who do you like? I... Marvel, your Marvel characters are more like your X-Men, your, right, your, your, your Hulk, your uh, Spider-Man, mm -hmm. and the DCs are the, um, are the Batman, Wonder Woman, Woman, and Superman, Supergirl. Oh, That's difficult. I like X-Men. You know, I understand these people who say one or the other. It's kind of like, yeah. you know, it's, like, it's just like deciding whether you like food or drink better. <laughs> you kind of need both to live. More of the nice. classic comic characters come from, come from DC, mm -hmm. but more of the newer comic characters come from Marvel. And they're doing the reboot, right, for DC? Uh, they're doing the reboot for a few of them. They're doing, like, Superman, and they're doing, uh, they're doing another reboot of Batman. Well, yeah. They're, they're making the Dark Knight re Rises, and then they're going to reboot the series after that. Good. Uh, Christopher Nolan, you're, Nolan, you're a genius, but you really, you gotta, you took it a little too serious, and now, you know, we're yeah. stuck remaking it again. Well, how do you feel about that? That they're just taking all of these established storylines and completely saying, that didn't happen. Well, you know, actually, I, I like it if they do, a, if it's done right, I I'll watch anything. I appreciate that they're going to reboot the series and do something different. They have to do it differently every once in a while. But I actually really liked this one. Um, See, I got old, I got old from you really fast. I mean, I guess it was just a different it was just a different point of view, and I kind of liked it because, it, especially like after the last one, Dark the Dark Knight, I was really blown away by just how well it was done. I know, but they're never going to top that. No, they're not. Do you think it's for the money? I mean, how many Spider Mans do we need? I do as many as it takes. Uh, if you look at it this way, there are 17 multiverses of Batman running in a comic book series now. So, mm -hmm. I'm I'm fine with 17 plus version movie versions. It's like the um, Spider-Man thing. You're doing the new Spider-Man coming out. It's the re the Amazing Spider-Man. She's actually technically a different storyline than Spider-Man itself. There's, I'm just kind of shocked that Sam Raimi's doing it though. I thought they really. I thought they would get someone else. Yeah, do a tap dance number or something else for the TV gonna... scene. Now she's going to use her fencing ability on me. Ah, hey, hey, hey. Watch the sword. I'm going to break it. No. Screw it around, show. Yes. This is our screw around. This is estrogen in a comic book shop. <laughs> this is an experiment. AKA. This is, this is what happens. AKA Allison <clears throat> dropped in and said hi. Yes. While we were closing up shop. <laughs> So uh, we're open up after hours. Oh, we probably should change. Oh, I'm like that. a special guest. I drop yeah. in in the middle of the show and say, "Hey guys, what are you doing? What are you up to? What Put are you talking Darth about?" Put a Darth Vader mask on. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. I'm glad you cut it off. You don't need to see that. Right. That's all we have time for in this particular episode of uh, Estrogen and Comic Book Store Experiment. My name's Andy. I'm Drew. Allison. I was next. Ladies all right, you do it time. next. Oh, try this again. My name's Andy. Allison. True. Good night. <laughs>